Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'd like to talk about the nutritional values of the eggshell and why I think it's uh, very important to not throw them away and to actually eat them. Um, I'm going to present some scientific papers on, on the nutritional content, uh, specifically the micronutrient content, mainly calcium carbonate, of which eggshells are a very rich source, and um, how they actually compare to other sources of calcium carbonate and basically break down their micronutrient content. Let's have a look at eggshells. Now the reason why I actually called this uh, video I want you to eat your eggshells is because I mean believe it or not eggshells are even now sold as supplements. Here is a uh, one example of Membrel Original Bone Health um, which actually uses eggshells um, and contains from what I can see each serving contains a thousand milligrams of calcium from the original eggshell and so um, if supplements are actually using eggshells they must have something good inside them and the answer to that is calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is an excellent source of calcium for your bones and teeth so let's have a look at some of these studies that have looked at the composition of eggshells now this study from almost 20 years ago, Mineral Amino Acid and Hormonal Composition of sh Chicken Eggshell Powder and Evaluation of its uh, Use in Human Nutrition uh, shows that of course it was a, a great source of calcium. If you're actually looking in nature, in your own garden, you will see that um, snails, if you throw your eggshells away into your garden, my mother used to do that, uh, she actually said it was very good for the soil. And you often see snails actually uh, eating the eggshells because the eggshells are a very good source of calcium carbonate. And um, they actually are found to have almost 40% um, calcium carbonate, which is uh, basically the, the mineral that we need for our bones and teeth. So um, this, this uh, particular study compared it, for example, to other sources um, such as refined calcium carbonate, which actually contains increased levels of, cal uh, of cadmium. Uh, or other supplements such as oyster shells which not only contain uh, cadmium but also aluminium and both of these um, metals are obviously uh, toxic and so it seems to have firstly a beneficial composition in that it's high high in levels of calcium carbonate and also low in um, in toxic uh, levels so very low in these uh, highly toxic um, uh, things like lead cadmium and mercury as examples so if we break down the mineral content as grams per 100 grams of the chicken eggshell in a powder form, um, as I mentioned earlier, it's almost 40%, uh, so 40, so 38 grams, um, or yeah, depending on which one you look at, calcium carbonate, it's about 40 grams uh, per 100 grams, which is very high, high level. Now, if you want to actually um, take eggshells, um, you're obviously not going to take 100 grams. So let's have a look at the recommendations found in another paper. So in this paper from 2018, um, it again repeats what I said earlier that uh, eggshells have a high level of calcium carbonate, which by the way is about 90% absorbable by the human body. Um, this is the type of calcium that is actually found in your bones and in your teeth, so it's quite beneficial in that respect. This is why at the, at the conclusion of this abstract it actually says, the multiple uses of eggshells in nutrition and medicine can be utilized for various purposes that minimize their effect on environmental pollution. And yes, I have to agree that um, <coughs> I actually try and, and purchase organic free-range eggs to um, be more ethical about my, um, my choices. Um, but when you consider that throwing the eggshell, once you've actually decided to purchase it and eat the egg itself, if you throw it away, um, of course, it actually, if you throw it into your garden, it's actually very good for the, for the soil. It actually um, um, remineralizes the soil. So it's actually very good for the environment as well. Um, but if you decide to ingest it and create it into a powder, and I'll show you a video, I guess, uh, on a subsequent video, maybe I'll show you how, to actually, uh, how I actually make my own eggshell powder. Um, one medium-sized eggshell makes about one teaspoon of powder. And this yields about 800 milligrams of elemental calcium, plus other microelements, which is pretty awesome, seeing that it definitely covers your recommended daily intake of calcium. So it's, 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 um, if you decide to, to um, actually wash these eggshells and um, grind them down, 
and ingest them, you will actually be covering your calcium intake, which I think is pretty awesome. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, leave me a comment. I know this is a very controversial topic. A lot of people are going to be screaming salmonella, this and that. But um, my recommendation is if you wish to actually um, try this, to actually wash your eggshells first and then dry them out and then grind them down to a powder. Again, I'll show you a video, um, a subsequent video of, of how I actually make this. And then you can take it, um, yeah, I guess, with food uh, to have maximum absorption. Anyway, I hope you've liked the video. And um, yeah, that's it for me. Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.